Hi guys, how are you doing? And welcome back. Let's talk about Apple and Apple Intelligence. Now, we all know that in iOS 18, if you have a supported iPhone, then you can use Apple Intelligence. And with the coming of every new version of iOS 18, Apple is enabling more and more features for Apple Intelligence. Now, what they didn't tell you is that they automatically turned on a feature, which is sharing your private information, your personal information from your photo library with their in Apple intelligence servers. Of course, they explain that um, they are going to great lengths to ensure that the information you are sharing from your iPhone or that they are enabled for you without asking you that it is private and anonymized, but still it is something you didn't choose for and it is still enabled when you update to iOS 18. And this, of course, comes to mind. It comes to mind, it concerns me because that means that in the future, when they update your iPhone, when new versions of iOS arrive, it is possible that this behavior will be there again, that they enable certain features on your phone without you explicitly giving permission for it or without you even knowing. So a while ago, I read a post uh, on the internet and then I went searching because there were some developers who uh, exposed that this feature is basically enabled when you update to iOS 18. And it is not only enabled if you have a iPhone, but also if you have an iPad with photos on there, or if you're using a Mac device, right? If you have a MacBook Pro or an iMac and you're using Apple Photos, that feature is automatically turned on with the latest versions of their macOS, but also on iOS. So let's go into the post and I'll show you what I mean. So this post is from 9to5Mac and it says, a developer has noted that Apple Photos app shares your iPhone photos with Apple by default, within iOS 18, of course, and it is known as enhanced visual search. So the developer, this is a kind of a, well, I would say a whistleblower, because what a developer found out is that if you have if you have a, a iPhone and you're installing iOS 18 on there and you're using Apple Photos, that option within the Photos app, that enhanced visual search is automatically turned on. It's not something you ask for. It's not something you uh, see during the upgrade process to iOS 18 or even if like in Europe, we have the browser ballot now that if you update to iOS 18 and you start up your iPhone after the update, it will, and you start up a browser, it will give you a new screen asking you which browser you want to use as your default browser, right? So this process that it enables that enhanced visual search, it is not even asking you if you want to opt in or opt out. It is just enabled by default, which is very sneaky, of course. And like me, if you are privacy minded, you are very careful what kind of information you're sharing from your mobile device to um, big uh, tech companies, because we all know that they will do everything that those big tech companies will do everything to get your data. And of course, Apple, uh, they try to uh, ease your mind that the data you're sharing with them, it is private, it is anonymized, and they're going to great lengths to have that anonymized. So it cannot be traced back to you, but still they have chosen to automatically enable a option which depends on your photo library, on your personal data from your device and sharing it with them. So I think this is of a major concern. Turn off this option very fast, please. Another article from Mashable, as we can see here, is if you go into the article, they are exactly saying the same thing. And what they are telling you, what they are telling you here is right. It is opt-in by default to make sure every clueless user, and I agree with the, with the terms you see, with the words used here, right? Because a user, when you are not into that, into um, uh, the tech and in privacy, you're going, you're using Apple because they are one of the brands, one of the major tech companies, which is, which tell you that they have privacy in high regards. They keep it in high regards. They are doing everything to keep your data private. But then again, they don't tell you as a clueless user that they will enable this option, right? You are just a user updating to iOS 18 
and you don't want to use Apple Intelligence, I would never use Apple Intelligence. And I would also suggest you disable that on your iPhone. Um, but still, this option is for your photos. And your photos, they, those are very private moments. The photos you have on your phone, I mean, all the data you have on your phone is very private. But the photos specifically, they have they give a visual representation of your life, of how you experience your life, your family, your friends. And then at the same time, that information apparently can be shared with Apple without you knowing it, right? So again, let's go to a other website. This is the register and they are telling you Apple auto opts everyone into having their photos analyzed for AI for landmarks. And of course, this is exactly what Apple is telling you. They are using your photos to make sure that they can learn and train AI models, their own AI models to um, tell you what landmarks there are in your uh, photos. But at the same time, that means if they are analyzing your photos and telling you if there is a landmark in there, because if you go then to your photo library and search for a landmark, you will see all your photos which have that landmark in there. That means they are sharing your location data from your iPhone or your Mac to their servers. That location data is being shared with them and it is being traced. It is, I mean, they are going to great lengths again to make sure that it is private, but still it can be traced back to you because it's your photo, it's your location information. You took that photo somewhere and then all that information is being shared with that tech company. And frankly, this is something that concerns me a lot and it should concern you a lot as well. All right, let's take a look at my iPhone. Let's take a look at the iPhone. Where do we find this, this option? Go to the Photos apps, go to the apps, the settings, of course. In the settings, you can see that you have the app option. Go to the apps and then find the photo apps in your list of applications on your iPhone. In the Photos app, if you open it, scroll down to the bottom. And at the bottom, you can see I have already turned that off. That is the enhanced visual search. And as the description says, allows this device to privately match places in your photos with a global index. It is maintained by Apple, uh, so you can search by almost any landmark or point of interest. I mean, this should be an option. Apple is advocating a lot for privacy. Um, it should be something you make your users aware of when you enable this option. Give them the chance to enable or disable it, to agree or disagree with it, because it is at the end of the day, private information which is being extracted from your photos like location information uploaded to a cloud uh, a cloud instance for apple intelligence and then being analyzed and being kept there and then it is traceable right so give the user the option to choose to enable this or disable it don't be sneaky and just enable it and then after some time, the user finds out that their information is actually being shared, their photo library information, things that are private in there are being shared with the tech company. And I mean, if you follow the news, you will see that eventually that location information will leak. It is a matter of time before that private information which are being shared with those tech companies is leaked to the internet. So let's prevent that and disable this option immediately on your iPhone. Let's get over to the Mac and see where we can turn that out, uh, off in the Mac as well. All right, and here we are in the Photos app on my Mac. And if you go into the Photos app and bring up the settings, you will see that there is a option in the General tab. You are in the General tab. And this is the option, the Enhanced Visual Search. Again, this is the same option that is turned on very sneakily by Apple on your device when installing iOS 18. And turn off this option on every Mac you have. And I, this option is also um, presented when you have the latest uh, version of uh, macOS, of course, because that's the version which also supports that Apple intelligence feature. Um, so turn this option off in the settings of that photo the Photos app within your Mac or uh, your MacBook Pro or your Apple device, at least. The option I showed you in the for the phone is the same place you go if you want to turn it off on your iPad. I would recommend immediately check all your Apple devices 
Are you running the latest version of iOS? Are you running the latest version of macOS? And then turn off these options, this option in all those devices. Now, this behavior is not acceptable, right? That means I didn't expect Apple to do this, but they did. And tech companies should have the responsibility and the awareness to always make sure that users using their endpoint devices are always aware that you are turning on features which will share your private information with them. Make sure that the user have a choice. Make sure that the user is aware that that option will be turned on. Make sure that the user has the possibility to turn it off and not agree with it. And it should be totally fine to still use that device. As always, thank you for watching. I hope that you have learned something from this video, that I have made you a little bit more privacy aware and privacy should not be taken for granted. It is something we fought for very hard and very long in our history and there are still countries and people fighting for privacy. So we should not give this up so easily. And as always, thank you for watching and don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below this video. That helps out my channel a lot and helps me making these kinds of videos for you guys, creating more and more awareness about privacy. So again, thank you and see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.